सो हेलो एवरी वन नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व चॉकलेट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स रीड द प्रॉब्लम गिवन एन एर ए पॉजिटिव इंटीजर ए ऑफ साइज एन ओके वेर ईच वैल्यू रिप्रजेंट अ नंबर ऑफ चॉकलेट्स इन अ पैकेट सो हेयर ईच वैल्यू रिप्रजेंट द पैकेट्स एंड चॉकलेट्स आर इन द पैकेट सपोज इट्स द वन पैकेट एंड देर थ्री चॉकलेट्स आर प्रजेंट इन देयर ओके सो ईच पैकेट कैन हैव अ वेरिएबल नंबर ऑफ चॉकलेट्स देर आर एम स्टूडेंट द टास्क इज टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट चॉकलेट पैकेट अमंग एम स्टूडेंट सच दैट ईच स्टूडेंट गेट्स एग्जैक्टली वन पैकेट ओके सो वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज देर इज अ एम स्टूडेंट एंड वी नीड टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द चॉकलेट्स बिटवीन अमंग द एम स्टूडेंट and the condition is over there the first condition that each student get exactly one packet okay the difference in the second condition is over there is the difference between the maximum number of chocolates given to student and minimum number of chocolate given to a student is minimum okay so problem is pretty simple what it's saying it's saying that there are we need to find the difference between the maximum number of student and the minimum number of student will be minimum how here we have this array suppose m is equal to 5 so let me write this indexing over there 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 okay now what we are going to do is we are going to check the difference suppose 56 minus 3 is 50 3 4 7 is 3 difference over there is 1 9 is 8 and 9 12 is 3 so we need to find the minimum difference so minimum difference is 3 so answer is going to be 3 but it's not true the answer is output is 6 why it is because it's not in the sorted order why why we need to spot this array because in the problem it says that we need to find the difference between the maximum number of chocolate or the minimum number of chocolate given to a student it's not the maximum minimum number it's done by using sorting the array okay so now we are going to sort this array 1 3 4 7 8 9 12 and Six. Okay. Now I'm going to do in it indexing. It's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So using the same con concept, we are going to solve this problem that I told you over there. We take two variables over there. First is i is equal to zero, and second is g, which is m minus one, and third we take difference which is ten for d, and we need to find the minimum difference. So, in Python, using float infinite, it shows the minimum value. Okay, and in C plus plus, using int min, it shows the minimum value. Or assign the minimum value to this variable. Okay. So now, what we are going to do is here. Why I take m minus one over there? Because m is equal to five. So guys, five minus one is equal to four. So four is over there. Okay. So now we are going to A uh, minus. Uh, we need to find the difference between the value, maximum value, and the minimum value. So that's why we are we going to sort uh, this array. Okay. So nine minus one is equal to what is eight. Three minus nine is equal to six. Four minus twelve is equal to eight. And seven minus fifty six is equal to forty nine. So guys, the minimum difference is six. So the output is six. So that is all about this problem. So we create a one condition over there in while loop. 
that we want our loop till this index so j is our j and we want j till this index so j is going to be less than n okay and now we are going to apply the same condition that we applied in the cadence algorithm that d is equal to we find the minimum value that d is equal to minimum of d comma a of j minus a of i is simple as that and now we are going to increment the value of i plus equal to 1 and j plus equal to 1 okay suppose it done so now we are going to increase this value is over there and i is over there and again i is over there and j is over there so that's all about this problem wise so here's the problem we created two variable i is equal to 0 j is m minus 1 and we sort this array and using the different we take a diff uh, instead of d and assign the minimum value and create a one condition in the while loop j is less than n and we assign the value to the difference to the diff is equal to minimum of diff a comma a of j minus a of i and we increment the value of i and j and we're going to return this difference okay so that's all about this problem guy and yeah it's done and let's test let's look at it, the test cases and yeah, it's successfully done guys so that's all about this problem hope you guys understand this problem if you guys have any doubt so please write in the comment section thank you